Okay, this question we have, dolphins in both paint. Essentially, this concentration of a compound in this boat paint is responsible for infectious diseases in dolphins. And even a little bit of this exposure to this compound that's found in the boat paint can lower the dolphin's immune system. So the conclusion here is, therefore, since dolphins rid their bodies of the compounds rapidly once exposure ceases, their mortality rate should decline rapidly if such boat paints are banned. And that's the key. Ban the boat paints and dolphins, there's like dolphin. Their mortality rate, it's about a scary looking skull and crossbow thing. Their mortality rate will go down. So we want something that lends strength to that argument. Let's look at D. High tissue levels of the compounds have recently been found in some marine animals. But there is no record of any of those animals dying in unusually large numbers recently. Well, it sounds like compounds are really no big deal. Remember, here we have a conclusion saying we want to get rid of the boat paint because the boat paint has these compounds, and therefore we know the mortality rate of dolphins here is going to go down. But D is saying that maybe the compounds don't even have this deleterious or harmful effect on the dolphins. So how can we blame them? So if we get rid of boat paint, it doesn't really matter because there's something else that is leading to this decrease in mortality rate. Or rather, this increase in mortality rate. Something is killing the dolphins. And it's not the compounds is what D is saying. So that's not going to strengthen the argument. That's going to weaken it. So we can get rid of D. Now let's look at C. The compounds break down into harmless substances after a few months of exposure to water or air. Well, the dolphins can get rid of this. And it says even once they get rid of this, they're no longer immune. It says that the compounds rapidly, or rather, therefore, since dolphins rid their bodies of the compounds rapidly once exposure ceases, that's great because they're obviously still in the water. So if the compounds are still in the water, then they, the dolphins would still be affected. But here C is saying compounds break down into harmless substances after a few months. So that means the dolphins rid their bodies of it. Boat pain is no longer allowed, so there's no fresh compounds or toxins coming in. And those toxins that were released into the water, well, it says those compounds break down after a few months. And therefore, what's our main conclusion? Mortality rate, that is the number of dolphins dying, is going to go down. And that is supported by answer choice C.